These are some of the most crazy products I've ever seen. Like this thing right here is called a Voctail. And you're like, how cool could it really be? And I'm like, wait, let me tell you. So basically you put water in it, okay? Then through some type of electrical pulse magic, it can trick your body into thinking you're drinking anything. So you wanna think you're drinking tomato juice? No problem. You wanna trick your body into thinking you're drinking I don't know, a milkshake? I hope it can do milkshakes. <laughs> I'm getting it. Drinking milkshakes all day guilt-free? Sign me up. I just don't know how well it works. Don't quote me on this. They call this thing Ruggy. Meet Ruggy. He's a rug, but he's also an alarm clock. And that's where it gets interesting because if you're like me, when the alarm clock goes off, you just hit snooze. And then you're like, screw you alarm clock. <laughs> I know how to turn you off. Well, guess what? Ruggy makes you get out of bed. Makes you physically get up and step on him. At that point, like you've committed to getting up, you just have to get up. I feel like Ruggy is a solution to me getting out of bed. One thing I've always wanted to be good at is at the pancake art challenge. I did it on my channel, but I was not this good. I'm not making Eiffel Towers. Wow, this is crazy. Now, you can be good. I mean, it's technically not you. It's a 3D printer that prints pancakes. But like, imagine the cool pancakes pancakes you can make like you could impress everybody with your pancake skills and be like what do you want what's your favorite thing and then they just like spit something random and you're like I got you no matter what it is you got them like this can make anything I hope look it's Eiffel Tower it's a spaceman over here a spaceship Whee. so this is a straw that can clean 99.9% .9 of bacteria so you sip on it and then you can drink from sources of water that you normally wouldn't like I wouldn't do this on a daily basis or anything but if you're stranded somewhere and it's like either die or use the straw, I'm gonna use the straw. Always use the straw instead of die. I don't know how this works, but it's a little handy thing to have with you if you're like camping or out in the woods, somewhere where like you can't get anywhere. This is a special type of plastic that changes colors when food is expired. I love this. I feel like this needs to be on everything. It's the one thing I really don't like, expired food. Like I have such a big fear of it. Sometimes I just don't want to risk eating food because I just don't want to take the chance if it's bad yet or not. I know it always has the expiry date on it. So I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> I don't know. I just, it's a gen genuine fear of mine. Even when something's like very close to being expired, I know they can, it can last much longer, but I'm like, oh, is it still good? The expiry date is good, but then when you open the package, how long does it last afterwards, you know? Like if you open up a package of meat and it expires in a month, it's not gonna last for a month. It's probably gonna last for like a week. I don't know. I'm not taking a chance. I'm eating it in two days and that's it. This little capsule is awesome. So basically it's a little capsule. You can carry it anywhere and you can plop it down and project it on whatever surface you have. And it also doubles as a speaker. So you can watch movies anywhere like take it with you you're in a room projector right there we got a movie playing so this is a stain proof shirt literally everything just falls right off of it like this what honestly why aren't all my clothes made of this material i'm way too accident prone i need this in my life i'd be spilling things everywhere everywhere i just and my only concern is like how does it feel because sometimes when the material doesn't feel right like i don't want it on my body that's why i kind of okay people are gonna hate me for saying this but i really don't like wearing jeans FBI, open up! because I just don't like how the material feels. And I do wear them sometimes, but I absolutely hate my experience the whole time. They just feel so like, Ugh. I don't know, maybe I'm just being a, like a baby, but it, I hate how scratchy and like rough it feels against my skin. And literally no one agrees with me. Like no one agrees with me. I've never met another person who's like, yeah, I also don't like wearing jeans. Like everybody loves wearing jeans and they look so nice and so cute. And that's why I put up with their shit. This is called a lock tote. So you can literally lock your bag anywhere and then leave it unattended and it can't be cut. Cause that's the first thing I thought of. I'm like, can't it be cut? But I looked it up and it can't be cut. So you know, you wanna go play a game of basketball? No problem. You just lock it up to a fence, to a bench, to whatever. Just make sure you lock it to something stationary. Don't lock it to something people can just move. Cause that's just stupid. First, there were fidget spinners and now, there's this fidget cube, but instead of just spinning, you can do all these little things in it, like press buttons and turn knobs. And a lot of us, you know, we just gotta fidget with stuff. So this is kind of cool. I don't need more distractions in my life, but it's kind of cool. This is a tattoo printer. So you can literally upload any file 
and then print a tattoo onto your skin. But it's not permanent. I think this is actually a great idea if you like want to get a tattoo because then you can test it out and see if you get bored of it. I think this is great. I think like, I think everybody before they get a tattoo should get a semi-permanent one and then just keep it on for like a few months and then like you can see how you feel. Or even better, one day you got a hot Cheeto tattooed on your elbow. The next day, a butterfly. Speaking of hot Cheetos, I actually didn't know this was next. Wow. Am I a psych? <laughs> this is a bag resealer. Why aren't we funding this? This should be in every home. Nobody likes a stale chip. Nobody. Do you guys like stale chips? Because ugh, they just don't taste good anymore. They lose their crunch, they lose their flavor. But now with the bag resealer, we never have to have stale chips again. This is like a magical floating light. I wanna say that it works by magnets. It's still like impressive they figured out how to make it work without a cord, right? Like I'm just like, what? But it's definitely, I think it's magnets. That's the only possible explanation I can think of it like literally levitating. Now we never have to be cold again. We got a heated jacket. You can control it by an app. The only thing that's confusing is why isn't his avatar wearing pants? Like if you're so cold that you need a heated jacket, at least wear some pants. Like do the due diligence and wear some pants. Maybe if you were wearing pants, you wouldn't need a heated jacket. So this thing will disinfect surfaces for you. Literally you run it over a surface and then bacteria, God, does this work on myself? Like, can I run it over myself and then never have to take showers again? <laughs> this is a three screened phone. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Like, I don't know why you would ever need three screens. It's like a newspaper. You can fold it here. It looks like an alarm clock. I'm not entirely sold on this if I'm being honest with you guys, but it's cool. It looks cool. Like I'm interested. Like I kind of want to hold it. I just don't really want to buy it. You know, give it to me for free. Sure. But I don't, I'm not spending my money on this yet. Got to convince me first. I feel like every year they come up with a new one of these things. Like not exactly this, but then we have like the hoverboards and like the the other things and they're all like scary. I'm not gonna lie, like I don't trust any of this. I don't wanna die. It's way too terrifying, like my balance is not good enough. These suction cups are solar powered so you can literally stick them on any window and charge your phone. You don't need a wall plug. Sometimes I can't find wall plugs. I was actually at the airport the other day and there was no wall plugs. Okay, there was a few, but they were all being used. I could have used this, I could have just stuck it on a window and charged my phone. This is an aqua treadmill. Yep, a treadmill that you can run in water. Apparently it's better for your body because it's like not as hard on your joints and you're just running in water. Seems kind of fun and hard at the same time. Like how fast can you really run in water? And it also doubles as a hot tub. So after you're done working out, you can soak in your sweat, I guess. It's kind of gross running in it, sweating, and then you're soaking in it. I became a lot less interested in it. This is such a small phone that also doubles as a Bluetooth. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of looks weird. It kind of looks like a little piece of cardboard. Like, I'm not really sure. I kind of feel like I can break it easy. Also, how do I take pictures? This thing can scan a dish and find out what ingredients are inside. I like this. I wonder how accurate it is. Like, this is game changer if people have allergies. You never have to worry again. Again, only if it's accurate. I don't know how accurate these things are. This is also perfect for finding out if your enemies are trying to poison you. You never know. I wasn't about all the other phones, but I'm kind of about this one. This one isn't a smartphone, it's a squish phone. Squishy phone. Like, I feel like you can't ever break your phone. I, I break phones all the time and now I never have to. I imagine if it's squishy, it's not breakable. It's invincible. Copy and paste isn't just for computers anymore. Now you can scan any image with a button and then just print it with ink. Cool. Apparently this knife gets so hot that it can slice bread and then toast it at the exact same time. This is the best invention since sliced bread. It takes all the work out of toasting it. I don't like waiting for bread to toast. It always feels like an eternity. This is called the Send Stone. Apparently it can listen to your voice and translate it into text with 97% accuracy. Never have to take notes again. You know, you're just walking down the street and you're like, oh, I have an idea. And then you just tell it your idea and it writes it down. I like. I don't know why more cars don't have this. So basically you can project your GPS onto the windshield so you don't have to keep looking down. That's so distracting. It's like, I can't focus on two things at once. Pretty game changing to me. For everybody else who can multitask, I'm sure you guys don't care about this, but I'm really bad at multitasking. Like incredibly bad. The other day we were riding our bikes and then I, w I got distracted and I was trying to look at something and then I almost drove into a pole. <laughs> almost. 
didn't happen. But then Jordy laughed at me and was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, I don't know. This tiny little microchip can be used as a tag to find anything. Keys, wallet, a bag. As long as it's attached, you can find it. This is so tiny. I need to put this like in my phone case so I never lose my phone. I guess that's what fine my iPhone is for. Okay, I need to put this in my wallet, on my keys, on myself. Like anything I'm losing, I need it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite invention is and if there's any other inventions that you think should have made this list. I love you guys all so much. Stay awesome, stay sweet, and don't forget to be nice, other.